<laughs> Wee! <laughs> Somebody's cows. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, so go in. Hey, 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 hey. Mandlof. Hey, my Hi everyone, hope you're doing great. So most of you are looking into either getting themselves a VR6 or an E30 or something of, the, of that era, meaning most of you guys are looking to get yourself a classic. But there are many things that are not spoken of when you actually get this car, which is the maintenance on these cars. You need to remember these are very, very old cars. I mean, 25 years plus so things are bound to be breaking and requiring to be replaced so today i just received a package for the bmw which is an the pcv icv valve but anyway it's something that uh, has to do with uh, the amount of a coming in so just received that got that off amazon I think about a month ago just arrived and then right here you will see we have the Jetta hood open because we are about to change this right here, which is the temp uh, temp sensor, temperature sensor, and then the Caravelle over there requires a petrol pump, which I have ordered. That too will be arriving at any time. So I'm sharing this with you guys just so that you know that chances are there's a whole lot of things or parts that you're gonna have to be replacing once you get the car so be ready when you get whatever amount you buy the car at just have money aside to be fixing many other things but let me tell you once all of that is done you will enjoy your car I mean unfortunately for me I've got these cars to be fixing all at the same time which can be a bit of a costly exercise but I'm gonna be taking it easy um, at least it's not like anything to do with the engine it's parts that are like I mean the temp switch I think probably about 400 or close to 500 if I'm not mistaken uh, petrol pump for the bus was about in total came to like 950 and then the ICV valve PCV valve also came to about 900 and something including shipment so it's not so bad but it's things that have to be done so that the cars, um, you know what, remain on the road. But that's it, guys. Let me get to it, and then I'll speak to you once uh, we are done changing the temp temperature sensor on the VR6. Okay, guys, did, did, did I say that I'm changing the, the switch? <laughs> no, no, no. You must have heard wrong. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, Mr. JW Wex, right here with us. It is assisting us to sort out the switch. So how can you just tell us what is this why are we changing the switch? Um the current one doesn't have clips so it doesn't hook. Mm -hmm. So the plug doesn't hook at all. So that's why I can check I can check I can check I can check. So it's supposed to hook here on the switch itself. So it doesn't hook. So it keeps on pushing back and then the fan doesn't uh, go on. So we had to make a plan to bridge the fan manually on, on stage one, rather. So now we're trying to sort that out, basically. But hey, give me a shit. Giving us the problems, hey, but nonetheless, we will sort that out. We, so, we, shall, we shall sort that out. So yeah, guys, let us just continue with that. And then uh, we'll get back to uh, the things that you should know before you buy your 25 or 30 year old vehicle. <laughs> okay, we finally got the switch back and now it's sitting in place. You'll hear it click when, when it's supposed to be the way it's meant to be going in there. So now we know that is sorted. Just going to bleed the system and then put some coolant and then we know we are sorted. Okay, so today is actually the following day after we did the work on the car. Um, we changed the fence switch uh, and 
and the fan kicked in at the right temp which is like between uh, 80 and 90 degrees so only now am I going to be taking a drive only now am I going to be taking a drive out just to see how uh, it actually handles the drive and how it performs so with that said guys in continuation with our old school classic cars right especially the E30 and VR6 there is this um, notion or rather there is this question that guys always ask about which is uh, which is faster between the VR6 and the E30 honestly in my own opinion right stock for stock the VR6 uh, is faster and here we're talking about the 2.8 uh, 12 valve uh, versus the 325 um, E30 and hear me out choice stock for stock at the very same breath I feel that it's uh, an unfair comparison because these are not cars of the same era let's face it guys in my own opinion I believe that the E30 325 should be compared to the Golf 2 GTI right and then the VR6 if we're going to be comparing it to any BMW then it should be the dolphin shape the E36 328 it's also a 2.8 liter if I'm not mistaken yeah 2.8 liter and they from the same era which is the the multi valve right so fair comparison if we're talking stock for stock the E36 328 versus the three the the, the VR6 2.8 then there I feel uh, we, we can we can really then uh, talk about which is faster but that's it guys I'm actually off to the storage facility uh, I need to go drop off some things there and then when we get there we we'll maybe just continue with this conversation uh, regarding our old school uh, classics because I've got something to show you when we get there uh, with regards to the E30 yeah what a hot day it is uh, I think perfect day to actually just check uh, how the temperatures behaving the true meaning of no road is smooth wherever you go or whatever direction you take in life you are bound to come across some challenges or a hump on the road in this case cows Well, here she is. How have you been, Aisha? Hmm? Phew. Anyway, guys, as I mentioned, right? <laughs> uh, okay, first things first, fan is working. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Fan is working, it should. So, that's really good news. Then on to the top get hand. This car right here, uh, people have been asking me why storage and whatsoever. So guys, the truth is <laughs> I don't have enough parking space. And besides, I needed, uh, I just thought, you know what, for all my car parts and car things, might as well get some storage for it. Because you know what, it ends up getting a bit messy. You guys know, you car guys, you gents know, like if you know, it starts with just one part and the next thing you know, your whole yard is filled with all the junk in there and then it causes problems, right? So guys, uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I got a storage facility, not necessarily for this car, but for, for all my things, you know? Now, 
This car packed it, started, then uh, exhaust is leaking. One thing you need to know about these older cars, guys, is that they don't like sitting. They really don't like sitting. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's not like I'm, put, I'm, I'm, I'm parking this car in the storage facility because I'm making it a garage queen. This is no garage queen. It's just that, like I said, uh, I need the space. Uh, and I just thought it best to come park it here. So this week it will be this one, next week it will be another one and so forth. So not necessarily for this car. But yeah, parked it off, came to start it funny sounds uh exhaust is leaking uh yeah <laughs> so they don't like being garage queens like uh most chains make these cars to be with that said guys very very lovely cars to have these older cars are really something else i can't explain um you know the difference get from these newer cars to these older cars it's just really something different uh, every time you jump into this, these cars it feels like you are jumping back into time and reality is they're never gonna be making these cars anymore as they used to as much as we are moving to electric um, so uh, fuel combustion uh, engines um, being taken off the, the shelves if I can put it that way but yeah we're really gonna miss these cars guys once they they are no more I'm telling you I think for us car chains who have still got these cars or if you are fortunate enough to actually grab yourself one uh, I'd say definitely do it do it don't look back because this era is no more era of opening your hood in the morning, working on the car, driving around, making sure that, you know, cars are right. Uh, whatever job you did on the car was actually a success, you know. <laughs> and, and if it was a success, the joy you get is really, uh, yo, can, it's unexplainable, guys. Anyway, this car here, I think I'm planning for this coming week i'm planning to go get that exhaust sorted probably just put put branches on the and then uh yeah whatever else needs to be sorted out uh you saw that um icv valve that i received yesterday I'm going to be fitting it sometime during the week and yeah yep and with that said guys i'm going to be concluding this video right here uh hope you found it entertaining <laughs> if anything but nonetheless i'm actually on my road to a thousand subscribers so please if you're not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button and I'll try by all means to make it worth your while with that said guys that is it for this video and i will see you on the next one cheers